Hi guys, Sandra Rains, the bus Sasquatch girl and author. Um, I wanted to tell you a little story. You know, it's about me. And I figure the more you know about me, the more you get to know me, <clears throat> you know, then we can really be considered friends. And I'd really love to know about you all. Um, my email address is on my channel, um, and I would really like to get, you know, to know all of you. Um, ever since I was little, and I gotta say, first off, at two and a half, I had a near-death experience. Um, my mom and dad were driving me and my two sisters. At the time, my brother wasn't born, but me and my two sisters and mom and dad were on our way to grandma's and grandpa's. Um, it was about an hour and a half, two hour drive. And we'd done it a thousand times. Um... <clears throat> we were on 124, and I don't, I know you probably don't know that road, but we came from Cincinnati and drove out 50 East to Hillsboro, and then from Hillsboro we'd hit 124 all the way out to Sinking Springs, and right there at the stop sign, which met 753 or 41 in that 41 um, we'd pull onto that a little bit and then onto Penhook Road which was a back road so anyway not that any of that mattered but I was in a car seat and all the way to grandma's and grandpa's I began to recognize things you know from the window um, landmarks, barns, um, and I remember this one barn in particular had a tobacco patch emblem on the side of it, and I, I remember I would always ask mom, mommy, how, are we almost there, and she'd pacify me and say, almost, baby, and, uh, but I always ended up, you know, asking. I asked several times, probably a minute apart. Mom never lost patience with me. But anyway, one day in particular, um, our car had an exhaust leak, which I didn't know. You know, nobody knew. And um, on the way to Grandma's, Mom and Dad saw some baby raccoons. And, uh, Dad stopped, and they were all by the road, and their mommy was dead. So, Mom and Dad picked the raccoons up, put them in a box in the trunk. We were going to take them out to Grandma's, and, uh, you know, I don't know what they were going to do with them after that. I assume let them loose. But, it was before we got to 124, matter of fact. Um, probably before we even got to Hillsboro is when we found them because by the time we made it to Hillsboro and there was this little gas station on the way out of Hillsboro called uh, Cheney's and the thing I remember the most is Dad must have pulled over at Cheney's and mommy yanked me out of the car seat dad got Terry and Debbie out because they were vomiting and stuff and I was I was gone um, and I remember floating above my mom as she carried me my back against her belly and her arm and screaming you know and Mom's like, and I'm a lot like my mom when I get hurt or my kids got hurt. Um, 
when my kids would get hurt, I'd pick them up and run. And I don't know why I do that. Even when I get hurt, I run. Um, I don't want anyone to see my wound. You know, like when Ben attacked me, I really didn't want anybody to to see it because when people see it, the expression on their face tells you how bad it is. So anyway, Mom is running around with me in her arm, screaming, and I remember following her to the bathroom there, and uh, I watched her hold me over the sink and splash water in my face, and the whole time she's screaming and crying, wake up Sandy, wake up baby, and, and I'm watching her, you know, and I'm thinking, hmm. You know, she's crying. She's... I don't even know if I recognized it was pain that she felt and fear. But... Anyway. Next thing I knew, we were sitting in this car, and it wasn't ours. And this woman had brought me back, woke me up. Um, and from what I understand, she was a nurse at the hospital there, the local hospital. So anyway, that's a near-death experience, and because I'm at 6 minutes and 43 seconds, this will take an hour to upload. Uh, I hate my internet, guys. But anyways, that was my near-death experience, and I didn't start out wanting to tell that story. I wanted to tell you another one. So, on to video two. Peace out, guys.